Hiya. About three or four weeks ago now, I had time to pop into, um, I think it was Pound Stretcher in my last video. I did a part one. Well, I've had so much trouble going on in personal circumstances with children going back to school and things being crazy that I am currently and have been for the last three weeks camped out in my son's school car park because he's got special needs and they're rubbish. So anyway, that's why the part two has been a long time. Right, so I did go off and I did um, do the samples of these tiny balls of wool. These are called Crea. It's back to front obviously because I'm looking at myself. Yeah, don't know why. Anyway, Crea. This was a this was aerial smoke and the wool was of a variety that was bitty, fuzzy, really really soft really nice well do you know what i had the most fun knitting with that one. Oh my god i keep chucking everything sorry about that um i had the most fun dealing with this one it it makes the softest shiniest amazing the site like, baby blanket material it was so so nice and i couldn't stop touching it when i done it so this is the knitted sample i, I followed the instructions this was 5.5 mil and that's how it came out. It's very, very neat. We did Tunisian crochet stitch. Didn't come out as well. Wasn't the right material for Tunisian crochet, but it still makes a really solid, pretty piece if you was to use it for that. Personally, that wouldn't have been my choice. And then that was regular crochet. And I thought that looked really, really pretty. Uh, it came out much better than the Tunisian crochet. And yeah, I would recommend this wool for hand knitting or machine knitting and crochet. The Tunisian crochet, I think, if you was to do a blanket in that, it would be so hot you wouldn't be able to use it. So it was just the fabric's just massive but it feels amazing so that was that one out of them three samples that i made i had that remainder so you know i think you'd need quite a bit of it but some of them i actually run out of while i was doing the sample so i will get to that hang on right so that was the crea from pound stretcher it was a 20 five gram ball yeah tw these are all 25 gram balls and they were they were only 40p each i think so that was that one all right again 25 gram ball this is impasto pebble when i did the original video i went through what they were what the spec was look what i've done stupid so anyway this one um that's how much i got left it was really nice to use it was actually a joy to use um it knitted and crocheted perfectly not a problem no snagging no nothing this is my knitted sample i've done this on my on my um model 700 knitting machine every other needle and it coped really well it was really smooth so I think that is the best defined out of the lot of them. Very, very well defined. This is the crochet. Came out quite nicely. Good stitch definition. You could use that for lots and lots of things. And the Tunisian crochet came out really well as well. It's very pretty. So that was all three of those samples. All three of them, not a problem. You could use this this particular one for anything. And this was a Crea. It's a DK, four mil, and it was only 40p. Uh, there was 45 meters in that. So I probably went through about 
25 meters just doing samples so it, you know it's not too bad it goes far enough yeah i liked that one my least favorite but then again i'm not one for sparkles really was the sparkly wall i don't know if you can see that in the sunshine you should get a little glimmer but it's like it's roving with a little piece of metal wrapped around it or reflective or whatever it is that they do to make it metallic-y. Tunisian crochet came out, well, I messed up, but came out really, really nice. The stitch definition was nice on that. However, it just wants to do its own thing completely. This one, I, I actually took the time and did a couple of bobbles around it as well. They come out really well. They stick out well. But again, it wasn't my favourite. It's just my personal choice. I didn't like the didn't like the variety at all. So as nice as it looks, I think someone can make it look nicer than I could because it snags on my fingers. That all the I don't know if you can see the fuzz, but all the fuzz was just getting jammed up in my rough hands and annoying me instantly. Knitted very good stitch definition again the fuzzies are contained they're not as as um snaggy in the knitted variety it knits really well actually it's very very uniform very nice good stretch but as i said not my favorite really hated it couldn't wait to finish touching it a bit like now my face feels like it's curling up on itself probably is um yeah, there's someone else who deals with fluffy walls and and likes it, they'll like that. I just won't. I can't deal with it. It just makes my fingers go eee. Anyway, 25 grams, 98% acrylic, and the metallic bit is nylon. I'm going to show you that. It's just like, I think Crystal calls it bumpies. I don't know what they call it. It's just like a single thread wrap around. I liked this one as well. This is Harmony Magma. It's by Creo again. It's a dark grey one. This was the crochet piece. Bobbles came out really well. Good stitch definition. Really nice to work with. Didn't snag, didn't grab, didn't do nothing. Knitting came out really perfect. Great. And the Tunisian, really, really nice. It came out lovely. So, all in all, I like that one. It, it's a good all rounder. Um, I would use it again. So, let's put that in there. I had quite a bit left over, as you can see. And that was. 65 meters so i probably only used about 20 meters of that so that one went quite a long way another one that i liked was this one i didn't do it justice i'm afraid i couldn't it looks great knitted that was my favorite i think that would look great with cables it would look good with patterns in it it's a great great wall it's very very thick and I think they put 6.5 on there. Personally, it comes out a bit stiff with 6.5. I would have put a 7 on that. And that would look really nice. Just a little bit of um, little bit of ease in the material would be much nicer. So I decided to go up to a 7 in the crochet hook. And it looks abysmal. So keep your crochet hook the same size. It doesn't look abysmal. It just looks too... Blech. no form but if i'd have used the correct crochet hook for it it would have looked better so with the knitting on this one go up a hook size i'm uh, sorry go up a needle size and go up go down or stay with the same needle that was given the crochet this is the difference seven on a crochet hook really floppy no form and on the Tunisian, it was perfect. 
absolutely perfect it came out so nice but the fabric is so thick you wouldn't be able to lay under it for more than 10 minutes before you're sweating your butt cheeks off so that was that one got two more and one of them took me ages right this one oh, you remember i said that company bergerot de france okay i'd heard of it but i don't know where from this is actually my most 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 favorite because i love the color in this um it was a bit weird when i got it out to have a look because it was kind of mottled but the effect it gave it, it was it was like life and shadow all in one it was great it reflects the light really well and it looks really pretty from afar um so I really like that. The stitch definition on that circle is pretty good. The knitted one, again, you could go up a half needle size and that would look great. It's a bit stiff at the moment, but it's got give in it. But it's quite a thick material when it's done on the needle, so I suggest so. Go up a size or a half size for the needles. And the Tunisian crochet, came out perfect look good and it's it's got a nice feel to it it's very multiple still it's not it's not too thick i went up half a hook size for the tunisian crochet and it came out really nice so on to the last one now please get your magnifying glass out because this one is small i don't know if you recall but i got a crea variety that had 270 meters on it on a 25 gram ball and it was the finest thing i think i'd ever seen it was so tiny but i did i did the right things i did the right sizes blah 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 now i've got to try and get it untangled from itself so it doesn't undo because all the stitches are still live they came straight off the machine so start with the knitted because it's so puny great stitch de stitch definition beautiful fuzz it's not overbearing the fuzz i would probably have to double up but this would look great on my mum so she might just get something out of that if i can find some more this is so soft it's not irritating it's lightweight it's just nice and uh these samples took all evening because my hands are huge and these samples are tiny so they're actually the same amount of rounds as the other ones stitch definition is beautiful this would look nice in a shawl um what's it um crystal at bag a day she does um shawl pattern called um bird of the night this yarn would look amazing in her pattern just saying so i might do that yet i've done one of hers i've done a bird of the night already um in four ply so this is the tunisian crochet beautiful definition such a pretty wool but only if you've got tiny hands to use it Unless you're going to double up or triple up. Triple up look, would look nice too. I think I did rather well. So, for my two millimetre hook <laughs> that I had to use. Yeah. I'm pleased with myself because that was perseverance. I sat on the floor for hours doing this. Because, um, you know, testers you can't really get into really. It'd take a while. That's why I've done them off camera because I get bored. So I buffed them all out and they've been sitting waiting. Sorry, got a fluffy nose. They've been sitting waiting for me to show you, but because of school situation, I have been inundated with my own rubbish to come online. So while I'm sitting in the car park opposite my son's school, I thought we'd go through it, you know. That is my personal thoughts. If I had to pick a favourite out of all of those, it would be the Bergeret, Berger, Berger, Berger de France. I'm not sure what it's called. 
made in france bergeron de france.com this wall is currently um out of out um out they don't they don't sell it anymore but they have got similar ones and i will be purchasing some of their wool to see if it's if it's as good as this because if it is I, I think i've found a new favorite so i like this very much recommend this company recommending i'm not affiliated i just like it right um Korea, great range um different type of yarns big small fat thin um i hated the cream one i won't buy that ever 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 love that one but it's too too thin they need to make a fat one of that and i'll be on that um and then another i i liked it it's not my favorite it's so soft though um i think my favorites are gonna have to be between these two this one this one because it's perfect the stitch definition the way it way it run through my hand the way it didn't snag it feels good i'd wear it yeah that's what i'm going with my two favorites the Berge de france and the korea one which is impasto pebble impasto pebble if you can read backwards they are the ones that i like all right thanks for joining me i hope you liked it um i'm gonna go to some more um shops and find yarn that people don't get get tested really um you know i found it in wilco's i found it in a range i found even even some random shop in the middle of my town that have a range of king cole and stuff that You'd walk past it and you would never know. So I'm just going to go and hunt now and find different things that I haven't seen um, tested. And I'll let you know. Anyway, have a great day. See ya.